you listen to urban radio, you probably feel like you're listening to the same six songs over and over and over again. And it's rare to hear really good R&B songs anymore. I recently sat down with Raheem Devon to talk about the state of the music industry. Here's what DC's finest had to say. You really don't have today artists who are tapping into that the same style of music that we saw in the 60s and 70s. Mm -hmm. Is that as, as a result of corporations controlling music labels and not really wanting artists to do that? Or is it the generation of artists they don't really have it in them? I, I, I think it's more, at the end of the day, I think it boils down to the artists. You can't really be controlled by mm -hmm. any machine or, you know, you, you, you make a conscious decision and want to be part of the machine. Or you mm -hmm. make a conscious decision at the end of the day of what you want to say as an artist. So, you know, I, I feel like that maybe we just, in a, we just in a place in the time where, you know, a lot of the artists just don't care. You know what I mean? Or, or, or they might not understand the power of their voice or the strength, of, you know, the strength in numbers or the strength in the, the power and the message of what you put out there. Is there a place in today's modern radio for artists like you? Or has the Internet really helped you uh, replace, if you will, mm -hmm. the old system of trying to get the airplay mm -hmm. uh, on the station? I think Internet radio is the future, satellite radio. That is the future, you know, we're in a free world of music now. You can pretty much record an album in your bathroom if you want, if that's your prerogative, and press the send button. And if it's great music or great product and people feel like they can gravitate to it, and um, most importantly, um, honest music. I had the honor of, of, of reopening um, the, the uh, How Howard Theater. Yeah, and, and, and actually, uh, I actually have a little bit of your performance. I actually oh, shot wow. the video. You, you played with uh, Frederick Yone, yeah. uh, who's on the harmonica. Yes, sir. And so, so we're going to play a little bit of that, and we're going to come back. Now, that was an amazing night mm -hmm. because, man, first of all, you had Joe Sample, George Duke, Dionne Warwick. Yeah, dude, I George mean, Duke you, is the you, MD. That's I mean, crazy, you had, man. I mean, Bill Barry, Cosby. Barry Gordy right Barry there. Gordy, Smokey Robinson. Yeah, and so that, that had to be a little bit intimidating yeah. to be a performer, and you've got to perform in front of those folks. Well, I knew, let me be honest with you, I knew, I knew that, you know, I knew there was a lot of prominent people there that night. Right. I did know that Smokey was there. And I didn't know that Barry was there. And I didn't find out they were there until after I performed and they came backstage. Now, was that a good thing for you? Yeah, it was crazy. Like, <laughs> they, you know, to have Smokey come, you know, bum rush the stage and be like, yo, man, you were dope. And I mean, you, 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 man. you and Fred like, did turn it out. I mean, yeah. it was a lot of great performers, yeah. but y'all took Let's Get It On to a different oh, level man, that night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely the honor, you know, the, the Marvin tribute. What I was going to say, one of the most profound things I think that I took from that night. Um, was, was Smokey's speech, mm -hmm. and where, you know, and that's just from a songwriter to a songwriter, and just saying that, like, like yo, make honest music. This is how I, I can always tell people who know how to sing. Uh -huh. Can they sing with no music, <laughs> no band, nothing? What kind of skills do they have? So for our audience, if you don't know about Raheem Devon, give them a little something something right. as an introduction. We're living like we're bulletproof, yeah. We bang, 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 bang. I said we loaded cock and name a shoe. Whoa, we loaded cock and name a shoe. Now, some will die over oil and kill over land and charge you for taxes, then blame Uncle Sam, then read your rights and charge you for nothing. Now, who's really gangsta? Tell me who's fronting. Murder your sons or ravish your daughters here overseas or across the waters. We got tanks and missiles and bombs and grenades. Inject the land with guns and AIDS. You better pray to the most. 
most high, whomever you praise. Politicians can't help you, they just puppets and slaves. Trying to get paid, and you are too. What you gonna do when them guns is pointed at you? I said we're living like we're bulletproof, yeah. We bang, 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 bang. I said we loaded cock and name a shoe. Whoa, loaded cock and name a shoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all see why I want to have him on the show. Raheem <laughs> Devon, man, I appreciate it.